afraid love ya Even though the skies are grey above ya Hey there Yorkshire Greetings gamers, welcome back for the second episode of today in the double upload and it's another big couple of games, League and Champions League, obviously carrying over from that last episode where we got the one all draw, we're now taking them back to Ellen Road and, and hopefully doing the business here and getting through, I really want to progress in the Champions League, so without further ado, let's just go and get into it guys. And we are here for the game then, as you can see... One all is how things stand at the minute. In terms of the games in between, it's, it's gone pretty well, to be honest. So we had the 3-0 defeat that was kind of played twice and that one all draw there. We then fought over 2-2. Two, two. They got a 94th minute of 94, of you know, four minutes of extra time goal. It was frustrating as all hell. Um, but it one of those things, so close to a win. We then fought over though with a really good 3-1 victory of Everton and a Thumping of Brighton just got better and better in the in the sort of last stages, just absolutely annihilated them. To be honest, they were going more and more attacking. Uh, I think like this goal in particular, or it might have been actually this goal. Basically, we just with one pass we took out half the team because they were just that far up the pitch um, off our kick off, uh, no, off our um, goal kick. So it just got yeah really easy towards the end, and we just annihilated them. But yeah, great result. Hopefully, lots of confidence going into this game. So we're playing today against, yep, that team, and then Norwich in the league, who are 10th, so a decent side, let's get into the first one then, a few little knocks and things and bits and bobs going on here and there, but I am going to be playing Oxley chamberlain even though he's got that injury there, because I won, you know, he played well in the last game, and I won the best team out there that I can, uh, we have had an injury, uh, rather suspension to Dumfries, so Ailing coming in, big Dianaya will partner today with Dallas at left back, he got a goal recently so he's in decent form Phillips is back after some suspensions and we've got obviously Barkley and Rafina Harrison I dropped him for the last game he came on and made a good impact so I am going to start him today hopefully he's kind of learned his lesson from that Rodrigo grabbed himself a couple of goals uh, recently which is really good 24 of the season 22 and 12 looking some good numbers there even with like a bit of a mid-season sort of dip they're still putting in some really good numbers Otherwise, Mario picked up an injury, hence why Ross Barkley is starting, and that's kind of it. So, let's get into the game. And this is the biggie. This is the biggie. If we get knocked out of the Champions League, we kind of just sort of go to what we're just going get, to sort of get through the end of the season, I think, realistically. Um, but let's just go and see what happens. I mean, Champions League is the focus, because I don't think we're winning the league. No, but that's really, really, we're not. We're not. We're just not. Chelsea are just far too kind of dominant at the minute. Um, and if you look at the sort of side, in real life they should be, to be honest. But, yeah, I think this is kind of our opportunity to maybe maybe sneak away into the last stages. I don't know. It all kind of hinges on this result first, so we've got to get through this one to have, obviously, any chance of that happening. But let's see what happens early into the game then. Can we get maybe an early goal? Sort of start on a really positive note. Put them under pressure. Ailing, Phillips, Chamberlain. I say we've played well in the last few games. If we can carry that over in today's game, then we could put in a really solid performance and maybe get a solid win. But who knows? That's a good little tackle. Wins it high up the pitch. Phillips feeds in Rafina. Come on, boys. 23rd goal of the season for Rafina. Although, oh, hang on. For a second, I thought the linesman were calling it offside. He was like stood at a weird angle there. Oh, always freaks me out. I think they're like set up for like the the next kickoff or whatever. But to me, I was like, oh, hang on, is he offside? But there we go. We're 2-1 advantage on uh, on Aggregate. And Ayer gets his fifth goal of the season. Christopher Ayer makes it 2-0. And this is the start we needed, boys. This is it. 2-0, 3-1 on Aggregate. That's a lot better. Great header from the big man. Makes it 2-0 on the night. Come on, boys. We've started brightly. Let's keep this going. We've got a free kick. Big D this time. Oh, just wide from Big D. Not played many games since coming back, but I'm you know, sort of slowly bringing him in mainly for the main games. Hopefully he can obviously get himself back fully fit and just be a mainstay with Ayer and give us a really solid foundation then going forwards, which would be awesome. Because that's kind of what I think we've missed over that sort of slump is we've always been ch chopping and changing, got like youngsters at the back, things like that. 
Phillips, oh, great ball to Rafina, who's through. Rafina, can he create it back for someone? Oh, he's going to go alone. No, he's not. Harrison is there. Jack Harrison's 13th goal. Great bit of play from Rafina. I did think he was going to shoot at the very end there when he got in, but he lays it off beautifully, and that's it, boys. Come on. This is more like it. We're going through at this rate. Seven shots, three on target. All three have gone in. 4-1 on aggregate. Beautiful stuff. Um... Yeah, I'm going to say very pleased. Keep it going. Yeah, let's just, just just keep that level up in the second half, boys. Come on. It's so much nicer when you've got good results and teams playing well than commentating when it's going awfully. That's for sure. And that's a great steal from Barkley. Finds Rodrigo. Rodrigo's through. Oh, good block from the defence there. On, it was through to try and make it for, but good block in the end. We do get the corner, which we are going to see. Rafina. Defended. Phillips on the edge of the box. Maybe take a crack. Nope. Goes to Ayer. Back to Phillips. Big D. Chamberlain. Big D. Just, just bossing it around in that midfield. Rodrigo tries to get through. Cleared. And then Big D with a header. So decent bit of opportunity there. Just a bit of good defending from them really. And a good save from the keeper off that free kick. 55 minutes gone. We've got want to keep it tight at the back, but if we could get like a fourth goal, just absolutely kill this game here and now. That would be awesome as Jack Harrison's through. Dawdles a little bit on the ball and then just sort of gives it away pretty poorly there, unfortunately for us. And they are coming forward. A few nice touches. This car, who was a bit of a trouble in that first leg. We have forced him back. Come on. Ooh, that's a good bit of play. This goes through and just wide. Could be careful, we don't want to let them get in. Like, if they get in, 4-2, it starts getting edgy. But, I mean, we have got that away goal, so we should be alright, to be honest, guys. But we don't want to give them any excuse. So let's just kill this game. Oh, so close from doing so there from Chamberlain. Good effort from the lad. Going to give him a little praise, just to, just to keep them motivated. Got a couple of guys that were sort of starting to look down in the midfield. Don't really know why. Maybe it was like missed opportunities or something. But I'm making a couple of changes, I think, now. A couple of complacent guys. We'll take Ox off, because he did have that injury. Knock, anyway. Rafina's knackered. Rodrigo not having the greatest of game, so we'll bring Greenwood on for him. A couple of changes right now. I'll save one just in case we get any injuries or anything. Don't want to put us unnecessarily down to ten men. As Rafina picks this up, knocks it into Phillips. Shackleton, the big shack. Harrison, back post. Should be a goal. Is a goal, and there it is, boys. 4-0 on the night. 5-1 on aggregate. Come on, book. Come on, boys. So excited to Kevin talk. <laughs> oh, that is more like it. We've even got a corner here. Big D trying to get on the action there. Still 15 minutes to go in this game, which is awesome to see how well we're playing. Much better than that first leg. Much better than some of the previous episodes. Games. And we have had tough games. I've kind of been purposely picking out, you know, obviously tough games because I think you'd want to see those. But what a good result that is. We get the win, outstretched arms, the full Monty, they're getting it today, boys. Looking happy, a few complacent guys, but we'll sort of manage that, I guess. Everything's happy, £8.68 million in there for that one. Great little chat there, not really bothered about that. <laughs> right then, Norwich game, three days, I'll see you in a second. There we are, time for the Norwich game. Not many changes. We've uh, brought back in Dumfries. I brought Cooper in for Big D because I'm just trying to slowly introduce him to the football game. I don't want to like, fully throw him in just yet. Uh, and, and kind of Cooper's in the same boat, really, but he has picked up a bit better sharpness just yet. But he's getting there. Um, a couple of games, and he'll be sort of in and settled. Chamberlain, because he had that injury anyway, brought him back out. Shackleton can come in. He does need the fitness anyway, so we'll, we'll bring him in. Uh, Panning Barkley as, as Mario is still sort of returning um, to fitness, so we'll, we'll hopefully throw him in and Costa can come in for Rafina because he was pretty knackered. So a few little changes, but all in all, still a strong squad out there. Let's go, boys. See how we do. Very excited to see who we get for the next knockout round. Uh, I'm not quite sure when that draw will be, but let's uh, let's try and keep our run going, boys. Let's play Norwich. The, uh, the these are the teams we should be beating if we do want to kind of cement that you know attempt on the tile, but more than anything to try and just cement that kind of top. For top three place really is what I'm going for this year. Um, you know, so we got second last year. If we get top three, then I'm happy. That was a great touch from Rodrigo there. Just completely did a defender. Good shot, but good save from the keeper. And they do manage to get it cleared. But good early signs. Three minutes in the, in the game. Good, nice shot from him. Dallas taking on his man. Not done too well though. But their clearance is pretty poor. And just 
lays it straight back to us as Meslier will collect to Cooper. Where is he going to go? Finds Phillips, Barkley. He takes his man on. Barkley going for a run. Costa picks it up. Costa dinking and diving in. His shot's blocked, but Shackleton, big Shack's back in business here. Makes it 1-0 to Leeds. Third goal of the season, but he has had a big spell out. So, and you know, he's, he's still like a rotation player, especially with like, the extra reinforcement of Barkley coming in. But nice little bit of play from Costa there. Dinked it back. Shot in from uh, Shackleton. 1-0. And so far, three shots, two on target for us, which is good. Coops, I, uh, Christopher, I, I back to back goals from the uh, from the big centre half there, which is awesome to see. I want to sign him for my Burnley um, the FM Premier League that I'll be doing, and you'll see on the channel soon. But uh, he was taken in the first pick, and I targeted someone else, which I kind of wish I maybe gone for him because I think he would be a really good centre back and like one of the few would actually join Burnley as well. So I probably should have targeted him first, but never mind. Playing pretty well so far. I mean, 22 minutes gone. We've had plenty of highlights. Plenty of pressure on them. They are kind of playing it out at the back. They do get away with it, although we have won it back again. Shackleton. Obviously, will be uh, confident after his goal. Dumfries dinks in. They're already on a booking, which is dangerous. Harrison, though, turns. Harrison scores. Come on, boys. Looks like Harrison's back with a bang. He scored a few goals recently as well, which is awesome to see. Feels like the team has just kind of got over its mid-season slump. And we're sort of starting getting back into business now which is awesome and hopefully we can go out there grind these wins out grind the results out for the charge on the uh, on the premier league but also kind of more importantly to me really is the champions league hopefully we can grind some really good results because i think from this round we're gonna get like a mega team i just feel like we're gonna get like a rail although actually we've not rail out didn't we so I, feel like, I, feel, I just feel like we're maybe going to get someone big, though. It could be like a Barca or an Inter or an AC or whatever. I feel like we're going to get someone huge that's going to cause us some big problems in the next knockout round. So, hopefully not. It'd be nice if there was like a bit of a weaker team that got through, but I feel like everyone's kind of looking at us as the weaker team in the Champions League this year. Just click on the edge of the box, tackled. Gibson has it. This is Mizkaz. Kapui. Good tackle, but they do get away with it. Pukis through. I'm about to say great tackle, but unfortunately it was a tackle straight into his own goal. And Christopher Ayer gets the OG there, which is a real shame. Kind of dents this first half performance. Hopefully that's not going to cause any issues and let them back in this game because we've been pretty dominant so far. Come on, boys. Rodrigo should go wide. Costa needs to kind of cross that ball. He does. There's Harrison. And there's 4 1. That was a brilliant bit of build to play. It's so nice that when you're playing FM and you like, you know, normally they're in an attack and you're like, all oh, right, look, look at the space, pass it. And they don't, they just like run into a corner. But it's so nice to actually be like, oh, pass it. And he does actually pass it and cross it along and gets the goal. It's so nice to actually see that in FM for a change. Normally it's completely the other way. They're like, you're screaming for them to cross it or something and they just like run into the corner and shoot from an obscure angle. But I uh, definitely feel like the match engine's better this year, um, which is awesome. That's like a big thing. I kind of wanted anyway. Bamford, another one of our old players hitting the post there. They've got Click and Bamford in their, in their team now. And they are 10th, so they're, they're doing all right, obviously, with those players. As Rodrigo taking it wide. We've got players up in support here. He's dinged it across. Couldn't find Costa, but it goes out to Dumfries. Highlight ends. That should be half time. For, oh, actually, no. Throw in. One last chance. Straight to them. Still like a minute or so left. In oh, that's a literal straight down the middle pump. And Pookie just dinks it over the keeper. That was literally as route one as you can get there. Completely bypassed our defence. A little bit disappointed that our defenders just let him through so easy. But um, I'm just going to say, yeah, playing well. We're 4-2 we're up. You know, that last goal, meh, but... Just keep this level up. We should be fine, guys. As Cooper tries to make amends for that conceded effort there, but just off the top of the crossbar in the end. It's actually pretty even if you look at the chances, but I'm going to give him encouragement. Rodrigo having a bit of a quiet game. He's, he's been involved here and there, but be nice to try and get him a goal as well. Uh, oh, Jesus. Click. He's staying offside, so let's see what happens with VAR. Pookie was offside, so he must be an interfering player there, Pookie, because it kind of looked like Click just put it in the back of the net. I'm assuming Pookie must be an interfering player 
in the goalkeeper's line sight or whatever it is. 70 odd minutes on the clock then. Let's have a look. Everyone's massively knackered here. Which is, obviously all the game is kind of thick and fast. You're going to get that. We'll bring Ox on. Oh, well, I'll actually just notice Shackleton has got an injury. Where's the undo? It's over here. So we'll actually bring him off. And I think we'll bring... Um, we'll bring him off for Greenwood. Keep Rodrigo out there. See if he can grab himself a goal. And then I think we'll also... Um, we'll just leave it at that for now. We'll leave it at that. The third one's kind of just for, for the sake of it. So we'll kind of leave that. Maybe make it now. Just bring on... We've not got tons of options, but bring Aileen on. He's on a booking. You know, get Dumfries off. Don't risk the red card. Is it me or do they look a little bit weird, different? Look a bit more cartoony than... I don't know. Just, just, just got like a glimpse of the like the fans and stuff. It just looked a little bit different to normal. I don't know if I've changed that, but... Hmm, don't know. Interesting. I'm not sure if I... That's how I feel about that just yet. It just seems different. I don't know. Weird. Anyway, they're coming forward. Aaron's can't well. Sorensen and wide 4-2. Looks like we're going to kind of end that way. Only the last few minutes of the game. Should be able to see this one out, to be honest. Although there is a highlight here. Corner defended. Go on, get there first, Phillips. Don't let him, get, don't let him beat you. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Costa puts it back. Clears it. Might be a late chance here. They have picked it up. That's a good tackle, but again, falls to one of their players. We're kind of getting the tackles, but we're not like getting the possession of the ball. They're sort of getting that second ball back. Good ish effort. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Oh, 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 oh. Don't know why he stopped there, but Rodrigo threw. Rodrigo saved by the keeper. Don't know why the defender just seemed to win the ball and then just stopped and let Rodrigo take it off him. Don't know. But I'll take it. As corner put in, click defends, and that should be a guy. Oh, no. Another highlight. Every time I'm like, oh, yeah, that should be the game. There's another highlight to go. It's going to be a long episode. I feel like this one's been plenty of highlights in these games. As Pookie thunders on goal. Oh, it's the post. Dallas will come away with it into Greenwood, although he doesn't collect. And they come again. They put a bit of late pressure on. I'm guessing they'll have gone like full attacking here to try and get obviously something from the game. So it is to be expected, obviously. But that should be game set match. It is indeed. Good win for us, boys. And yeah, we, we keep going on. We've got... You know, a good bit of form back in. Harrison's doing well in training. Let's praise that. Uh, Shaq, yeah, that's all fine, whatever. Awesome stuff. Um, yeah, so still a few games to play there. Weirdly, they're all 2-1. Don't know when you see that as often as that, but okay, whatever. They're all 2-1, so I'm guessing once they're played, we'll be able to get the next draw, and we'll see what that's like in the next episode. Next episode, we will be coming back for the Champions League game. So, hopefully looking forward to that. I am very much so. I'll see you soon, guys.